saw a bunch of videos on how to take out the rear diff and disassemble the rear diff, reinstall the diff, fill it with fluid, all that. I did not see anybody go <clears throat> further on how the best way to take this C-clip off and to put it back on once you get it off. And why you would want to even do that, <clears throat> um, even if your gear, your input gear or your pinion gear that goes into the ring gear of the diff, even if it's not damaged, there's two bearings here that <clears throat> every once in a while are gonna need some cleaning. So I'm just surprised that nobody has a video on that. So let's go ahead and uh, show how I do it. Uh, the two tools that I, I use are a very small um, needle nose, very small, thin needle nose. Um, a regular one seems just to be a little bit too big to get to get in there and then this is a tool that they give you um, I don't use it for taking it off, but I I do use it for putting it back on I'm gonna show you what I do to put it back on Okay, so once I get that little bit started like that Take out my resistance <clears throat> and I'm gonna roll it just slightly like that and I'm gonna try to get it up even more <clears throat> I'm gonna roll it a little bit more this is how I did it man followed it and I grabbed this and put pulled it a little bit more till it popped out like so <clears throat> And then once this piece popped out here, <clears throat> this will free this whole drive shaft, the two bearings, and your input gear over to here. So you'll just keep the C-clip on the end of there until you can pull this out. And this will just release this. No. And then once you pull this out, there'll be a pin just like uh, in your regular drive shaft. And just take something pointy, poke through it. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Pull this pin out. Put that down there. And that'll free your input gear. And mine wasn't damaged at all. Uh, my bearings, they needed some cleaning and it'll need some, some grease in here and all that. Um, but now let's go back to, let's just take everything out. So we'll just pull this out. The drive shaft will just come out. You can take the C-clip off at the end here. It comes off somehow. There you go. Take your little, your little C-clip off and you'll be able to pull this drive shaft. You pull this bearing off too. This bearing comes off on this side. Boom, pull your drive shaft out with the other bearing. There's just a pin which go, which puts this in here just as if you're doing one of these. <clears throat> That's it, the two bearings and the C-clip. Uh, one of the bearings and the C-clip will install on the other side over here and the others will go in over here. <clears throat> Let's put it in this way. There we go, and then we can pop this this bearing in there. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, once this bearing's popped in, feed this out like this, and you're not gonna tap it out of place, and then feed it through somehow. And there we go. <clears throat> I hope it stays in place. Kind of spin it to where it's sideways rather than up and down, so it just falls out. Okay, now we got that part. See how that bearing just keeps popping out now? <clears throat> anyway, we got that important part out. So we're gonna feed this a little bit through like that. We'll go over to here now. We're gonna feed that over to there. And we are going to put the, bear the other bearing Maybe I'll do it with my right. Now the bearing on the end of this drive shaft now. 
feed it into here, pop that in place. <clears throat> and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the C-clip, but we're gonna take this little tool here that they give you. And you're gonna put the C-clip, make sure that you're getting clear. Okay, you're gonna take the C-clip end and you're going to put the C-clip on the end like that. You see that? You go over here, feed it through. You can even squeeze it a little bit to get it by. Actually start on this side and then kind of squeeze it to feed that through the other side of the drive shaft. Make sure your bearings stay in place. Get in there, bearing. Anyway, now that you got this on, you can feed this drive shaft through to the other drive cup and get your uh, input gear back in place. So we already have our C-clip in, okay? We're gonna stuff a piece of paper towel into our gear gears for resistance, okay? Come back over here, wherever the hell it is. Where are we? Right there, okay? We still have our tool on the C-clip when we, when we installed it <clears throat> with the C-clip on it. I'm gonna push on this pinion gear and I'm gonna go underneath, I'm gonna go underneath the, uh, the line, but I'm pushing on the pinion gear on the opposite side. So right when I get underneath, I'm gonna spread this apart one side at a time. And then once I get to a certain somewhere, I let go. It's it, man. I put that thing on there that easy. I take my thing just to make sure everything's lined up. It is, it went right on. So that's what that tool is for, is for the put on process. So the hardest part of doing this is taking the C-clip off, which really isn't that hard. <clears throat> um, and then lining this drive shaft to get back into that drive cup and, and getting the two bearings and this pin to stay in at the same time. That's the hardest part of it. Um, but only made the video because I didn't see one. And when I was trying to get that damn clip off, man, I could not figure it out. So uh, I finally figured it out and I figured I'd share what I did. Um, I didn't use the tool to get it off. I used these little, you know, those needle nose and I put use the tool to get it on and I set the tool and the C-clip on the drive shaft before I set it. That's it.